this is Legend Zelda Master 1 and on this video I'm going to show you how to make an eye blink and flash. So first you're going to start off just making the eye. Which you could make it however you want. This one's just a very quick one. Now what you want to do is, you want to have everything closed off so that you can paint inside of the eye. Because if you have an open area and flash, then obviously the paint tool won't paint anything. So even though you can't see any change, this area right here will be white. And after that you could edit even this part so that the only part that remains is the area right here. Or you could do whatever else. Then what you want to do is you want to add some layers. I usually have five layers. Layers 1 and 3 will have the same thing. But layer 4 will have the same thing, except on layer 4 you take out the white. That way the iris will show through, but it won't break through the eyebrow, well, eyelash. Then on layer 5 I add the eyebrow. And make that black too. Then layer 2 is where I have the iris. Now to make everything scale down and keep the same shape, you hold shift and control. And then have the iris whatever color for this one is going to be blue. You could also add gradients, which will make it more 3D-ish, or shiny. Now on layer 3, you mask, and the iris will show through. If you don't have layer 4, like this, then when you have it, it'll end up showing like that. So layer 4 is a pretty useful thing. Now to make the eye blink, you insert a keyframe, and you unlock layers 1, 3, and 4, and holding shift and control, you squeeze the middle parts down, which will pull everything else. It'll stop. Then you insert new keyframes and do the same thing. And then again. And layer 5, I mean, it, frame 5 is where I usually have them end. And I paint everything black. Now this is where you add, you take layer 3 or layer 1 and paste it into layer 4 because if you have it like this then the iris will still show through which is kind of hard to see from here but even so it's better to not see the iris at all. So paste
can't see the iris. And now copy the previous keyframe and paste it. Then wherever your preference is, I usually move to the ones that don't get too close to each other. So in this one I copied frames 4, then 3, then 1. the animation will look like this. Then I usually have at least 90 frame, 90 extra frames. That way there's a pause between the blinks and you should have something like this. Okay, so that's all for this tutorial, so ciao mata.